beautiful people welcome to remy's fashion my name is remy on this channel we upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorials every week please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload new tutorials you'll be the first to be notified in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to sew a corset top using our drafted corset pattern so let's get started The materials you will need are you will need drafted corset patterns you will need fabric i have a lace fabric here that i'm going to be using to sew our corset top i also have royal duchess here that i'm going to be using to mix with my lace fabric and i'm going to be using this satin for the lining you also need wadding i'm going to be using wadding to cut our bra cups because i'm going to be making the crop from scratch you will also need interfacing and then i have this zipper here which i'm going to be using for my top you should have a matching thread for your fabric then i'm going to be using this regilin boning for my corset top you also need a measuring tape a scissors or rotary cutter and if you're using a rotary cutter you should have a healing mat i also have underwire bra here this i'm going to be inserting on our corset Top. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out my pattern pieces. So this is one of my pattern pieces. So I have put it on top of my lace and then I'm going to cut out. I only added sewing allowance to the side and the bottom. I did not add any sewing allowance on this side and at the top. So now is a good time for me to add allowance. I'm going to add half an inch sewing allowance on here and on here. So this is my half an inch sewing allowance at the top. And I'm going to add half an inch here as well. I already added some allowances on the sides, so I'm just going to cut. I cut it on fold, just like I indicated on my pattern, and this is also on fold. This is on fold here, so I'm going to add seam allowance on this side and seam allowance on this side, and at the top as well. So this is the back. I'm just going to add half an inch seam allowance at the top. And then I'll cut. So I'll cut out this shape for the back. This is for the zipper. So I'm going to open it up as well completely. And then we have one for each side. And this is the center front. So we finish cutting all our pattern pieces for the main fabric. We're going to make our own bra cups. And I'm using a wadding. These are the patterns that we drafted. So now I'm going to add half an inch seam allowance on this side, on the top, on this side, on the top. I'm not going to add any seam allowance on the inner part of this pattern. Because I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch to join both of them together. If you do not have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, then add sewing allowance to the inner part to join them together but for me i'm going to be using a zigzag stitch to connect them together so these cups i'm going to be cutting them out on wadding make sure you label your pieces and add your seam allowances so once i cut out i'm going to label them so now i'm going to add half an inch seam allowances all around this pattern apart from the inner part because just like i said earlier i'm going to be joining them together with a zigzag stitch so you see i've added my half an inch seam allowances on both sides so i'm going to cut it out now Now, this is what they look like and before you take off your patterns make sure you notch i'm going to notch and i'm going to mark so that i do not mix them up i'm going to notch these edges and i know this is where i'm going to be connecting both of them together okay just a bit of a notch and then i'm going to notch here as well just a tiny bit i know that this is where i'm going to be joining them together i'm actually going to write left and right just indicate so that you know what you're doing this is one and this is two you can still write the same thing you wrote on the pattern for just for you to be able to identify your pieces once you take off your patterns 
So after cutting out my pattern pieces, this is what I have. So I'm just going to go through them one by one and show you what I did. So this is the center front. So I added half an inch seam allowance at the top and on the side. And this is the side front. So I added half an inch at the top on the cup side. This is where I'm going to be joining to the cup and in the middle. The reason why I added this half an inch seam allowance is because I'm going to be attaching this to this. By the time I sew this and this together, we're still left with our original pattern. So that way your pattern is still the same. That is why I added half an inch seam allowance on here. And then this one, I'm going to cut it open. See, cut it open so that you have one side on your right hand side and the other side on your left hand side. And then I cut on the layer for both the front and the back of my pattern pieces. And I cut them exactly the same. Okay, we're not going to be using a separate lining. So we're going to be using this on the layer for our lace fabric because of the transparency of the lace if you want your lace to be transparent then you can use an organza for the under layer okay so i have on the layer for both my front pieces and my back pieces so don't forget to transfer all your notches so you can transfer your notches to the side you can just mark out this is the side i can just notch notch it here and then you can notch on the bust line as well so you know where you're joining so that when i separate them now i can still match them up and when i take out my pins so we have two pieces so i've taken out my pins and we have two pieces see i'll take out my pins on this one i'll show you what it looks like so this is what our center front is looking like okay half an inch on here and half an inch on here we already have seam allowances on the side we added half an inch on these sides as well on the bra cup the section where we're going to be fixing our bra cup so this is what it looks like so these are our front pieces this is my under layer so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use a basting stitch to hold them together so that when i'm going to sew them they will not shift okay and then to be able to join them together we're going to be matching wrong side to wrong side okay so we're going to sew wrong side to wrong side because the front is where we're going to be adding our boning channel and that's where we're going to be inserting the boning one of the reasons why i want us to do it in front is because of comfort because if you put the boning inside, it's going to be touching your body and it's going to be very uncomfortable. But if you put it in front, it's going to be more comfortable. So that way you have the soft feel of the fabric touching your skin without the boning affecting your body. But if you put it in front, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to snatch to the body at the same time giving you comfort. Okay, I'm going to go and hold this with basting stitch just like I said earlier. And then I'm going to face wrong side to wrong side and then I will sew. The inside is going to be finished neatly and then the front here this is where we're going to be having the channels this is for the front and then for the back this is what we have so all i did was i added half an inch seam allowance at the top okay so the next thing you're going to do is to transfer your darts you can either use a tracing wheel trace your darts and transfer it or you use a pin the pin method put your pin in here on each edge and then you mark so by the time you take off your pattern you have your darts to follow not your zipper allowance both the top and the bottom and then you transfer your darts so this is what the back looks like we have two pieces here both for the lace and the under layer so make sure you indicate where your top is and where your bottom is so that you do not mix them up because they look alike okay this is without the under layer so by the time i add the under layer this is what it looks like so you will sew in your dart and then we add our zipper okay and where we're going to sew in our dart is where i'm going to be adding my boning channels for the back and for the bra cups i cut two of each two of the left hand side and two of the right hand side so make sure you add your notches as well for you to be able to connect the patterns together and then make sure you put labels as well you can still write l left one two r so you know this is your right hand side and this is your left hand side so when you hold them together you, this is how you're going to sew them together you're not mixing them up all i did was i added half an inch seam allowance at the top and on the side at the top and on the side so I did not add any seam allowance in the middle. I'm going to be using zigzag stitch to join the two together to be able to form the cups. So if you do not have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, you can go ahead and add half an inch seam allowance 
on both sides. But since I have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join them together with a zigzag stitch. I also cut fabric cover and lining cover for my bra cups. So you're going to cut two of each, two fabric and two lining. And then if you do not know how to cover the bra cups, I have a tutorial on this channel on how to cover ready-made bra cups with lining and fabric. I'll put the link in the description box below and on the cards above. It's the same process you're going to be using to cover your homemade bra cups. That is the process I'm going to be using. So follow that process to be able to cover your bra cups. I have these lace trimmings. I can decide to use this to finish up the top of our corset top. This is optional. You can either use lace trimmings or you use bias tape to finish up the top. So the next thing we're going to be doing now is we're going to go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how to join these pieces together. After doing this, we will now join the front pieces together and the back. We're going to sew in our dart for the back and then we add a zipper. You take your pattern pieces, that's the breast cup. You make sure the left, this is the left, it's on your left and then the right is on your right. And then you make sure you align them together like they are kissing and then we we'll sew. Now back stitch so that holds up. As you're sewing, you're putting them together like this. See? Together. And the zigzag stitch is holding them together. See, it's making that curve. You see how it curved in? See? See how I'm just holding them close together? See? To the end. And then I'm going to back stitch. And this is my homemade hook. So this is the right side. And this is the wrong side. So this is the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the second one. You do exactly the same thing. Make sure you have them in the right place. If you're not sure, you use your pattern to cross check. But before you take out your pattern, make sure you have aligned them. So I put them together like this, just like I did for the first one. They are kissing each other very closely. And then I'll use my zigzag stitch. And then I'm going to back stitch to hold them together firmly. All I'm doing is bringing them close together. Forming that curve. See, this is all I'm doing. You see how they kiss and they match up at the end? This is what you should have. You see how they match up? Back stitch at the beginning and at the end to lock in your stitches. And this is the second one, all done. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So these are our two homemade bra cups. So go ahead and cover your homemade bra cups with fabric and lining. Follow the process on the video that I've already made that is on this channel on how to cover already made bra cups with fabric and lining. These are our homemade bra cups. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them a good press. I've also gone ahead and I've sewn the covers, both the lining and the main fabric. These are the lining pieces and these are the covering for the right side, the front. So I'm going to be using my tailor's ham, homemade tailor's ham. And I'm going to give my bra cup a good press and the coverings as well. Just make sure you do not put too much heat on it. I'll do the same thing for the second one. And these are my coverings. I've already sewn and notched all the pieces. So I'm just going to be opening them. So I'm going to press open my seams on all my coverings. When you're doing this, you should use a tailor's ham. So this is how I'm going to cover it. I'm going to go ahead and finish ironing the seams. I'm going to open them and then I'm going to cover the breast cups. I have a tutorial on this channel on how to cover bra cups with lining and fabric. I'm going to follow that same process. 
and I'll cover my bra cups. So I'll now cover the breast cups. I've done one. So I'll follow the same procedure. I'll cover this one. So I'm just going to sew. <laughs> See, I've done it, so I'll now cover the inside. This is the inner part, and this is the outer part. So we'll follow our process of covering a ready-made bra cup to cover the inner part as well. So I'm just going to do that now, and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'll now understitch all the seam allowances on the lining. See, this is what it looks like. I'll reduce this bulk and then I will cover it at the bottom and then we are done. So I'm sewing the lining now, the bottom part. And this is it done. So go ahead and do yours. This is the inner part and this is the outer part. Trim out the excess now. This is our homemade bra cup. So the next thing we're going to do now is to give this a good press and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I have attached the two front pieces, wrong side facing wrong side. You see, just like I said I was going to do. So I place them together like this and I'm going to sew using half an inch seam allowance. You can baste your fabric, your main fabric and your under layer together so that when you're sewing they will not shift. You can either use a basting stitch or you can use your needle and thread hold them together so that they will not move i'm going to back stitch always back stitch at the beginning and at the end of any time you do a stitch so i'm using my regular stitch now to sew them together and then this is the inner part and then this is the outer part. This is the right side. You can either press this open or press it to one side. It's your preference. This is one of the boning channels. Okay? I can decide to do like this and then I'll sew it down. So after sewing this one side, this is what it looks like. I'm now going to sew in the other part of the front pattern. So now I'm going to sew the second part. Wrong side facing wrong side. I'm using half an inch seam allowance because that's the sewing allowance I left. So after sewing it, see, this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So like I said, we're either going to press this open or you can lay it flat like this and then sew on top. These lines are where we're going to be sewing in our boning channels. So after joining the front pieces together, this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to iron our stitches open. I'm going to press them open flat and then you can reduce the bulk so that when you're sewing in your boning channels it fits in perfectly without any problems and then these are our cups so we've sewn the cups this is the inside and this is the right sides so it's just going to fit in here we're going to use half an inch seam allowance and we're going to sew from side to side all the way like this this is going to go in here and then this is going to go in here so that's for the front and this is where we're going to sew in our boning channels like i said earlier you can either open them and iron flat or we can lay them facing the center front you can iron it down and then maybe sew it and hold it down depends on whichever one you prefer i'm just going to iron now Then I'm going to press my stitches open.
after doing this you can decide to reduce it so that it's slimmer so that when we are sewing in our boning channels it's going to cover it nicely okay so i'm going to reduce it before sewing in our channel so this is the front and these are the cups with the front so i'm not going to sew in my back dart you can decide you want to cut open your dart and then sew the pieces together but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to sew in the dart. I'm not going to cut it open. So I'm going to be starting from the middle of the dart and I will sew down. Once I get here, I'm going to turn it and then sew the other parts. I'm just going to leave a long thread tail so that I can tie in my stitches. I'm not going to back stitch. I'm just going to tie in the dart stitches like this. I'll turn it around and then I'll sew all the way down. I back stitch at the beginning. I'll do the same thing for this one as well. And this is my back that soon. So I'm going to sew the second one exactly like I did for this first one. And these are the back pieces. So what we're going to do with this one now is to iron them. These are the darts that we sew, okay? So now I'm going to iron the darts so that they can lay flat. And then I'm going to iron the allowance we left for our zipper. I'm just going to iron it as well. And then you can use a basting stitch, that's a temporary stitch, to join them together. Or you decide to sew the zipper anyhow. If you prefer, there are different methods of sewing in zippers. You can use any of the methods. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to iron the zipper allowance so that we can sew in our zipper. I left one inch zipper allowance. So just make sure whatever you're ironing in, it's an inch. If you left more than that, make sure that's what you're ironing. going to do now is to sew in our boning channels attach our bra cups to the front we'll sew in the zipper and then we'll join the front and the back together we're going to be doing all that in our next tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful please subscribe and give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching see you in my next tutorial take care and god bless